what's going on guys back at you guys with another presentation um i want to talk to you guys about uh something that's real right here um and this is something that i never understood but a lot of people know the truth deep down people know that there are certain men who are not wanted you know i know a lot of people try to act oblivious to this and you got you got men and women alike you know a lot of people want to believe the old cliche, the old lame cliche that there is someone for everyone. But um, I believe a lot of people instinctively know. But one thing I've learned about society, we live in a society where people believe in pretending to be dumb. We live in a society where people uh, people like pretending to be stupid in this world. Like a lot of people know the truth about stuff, but they'll turn a deaf ear to it and act like, oh, that's not true. Or they'll act like, oh, no, that's not true. Or they'll try to gaslight you and saying that's not true. Or they'll tell you that whatever you believe, that's your belief, not mine. See, people who have this type of mindset, those are the people who are running away from the truth. See, a lot of people know deep down, whether they want to admit it or not, they know that there are some men that are not chosen by women. People know this. Now, whether they admit it or not, that's on them. Some men are just not chosen. They're not wanted. Uh, and I believe people instinctively know this. People know that there are certain men that women don't desire. There are certain men that women don't want. You know, um, I know people try to... Uh, People try to turn a deaf ear to this and they try to uh, pretend like, oh, no, that's not real. That's not a real phenomenon. Oh, that's just make make believe. People know the truth deep down. See, people know that deep down there are certain men who are just not wanted. There are certain men who are not chosen. You know, um, when it comes to the whole dating game, only the best players are chosen. The dudes who got the best genetics. Those are the people who are chosen. Like everybody ain't chosen when it comes to procreating. Every man will never have the ability to say, you know what? This is my wife. This is my children. This is my legacy. Some men won't be given the privilege of creating a legacy. See, one thing about me. I thank God. That I had a father to let me know I was destined to fail from a young age. See, a lot of guys. You know, they didn't have a father that was letting them know from a young age that things ain't going to be sweet for you. You know, you're not going to you're not going to win. See, that's why I made the, the the song on my Beta Bucks album. You guys should give that album a listen. Uh, that's why I made that song. Uh, Lennox Lewis. Life is like a boxing ring. Not everybody is going to win. Some are effed up beyond measure. Some get TKO Lennox Lewis. Yeah, some people got TKO Lennox Lewis in life. See, uh, some people are just effed up beyond measure. Some people got TKO Lennox Lewis. Life is like a boxing ring. Not everybody is going to win. Some are effed up beyond measure. Some get TKO Lennox Lewis. That's why I made that song on that Beta Bucks album. I believe that was the last track of that album that I released back in. I believe I released that album back in 2023, last year, that Beta Bucks album. Um, I made that song Lennox Lewis because some people got knocked out like Lennox Lewis in life. And a lot of people don't want to believe that. And, and, and people know it, men and women alike. They know that there are certain men who are just not wanted. Some men are just not chosen. You know, they're just not desired. And it is what it is. Some men just not want it. Uh, the, dating, the dating game is a, uh, it's a very cutthroat game, the, the mating game, the mating arena. It's a very cutthroat arena. Uh, some guys just didn't get chosen. And um, it is what it is. Um... You know, put a champagne glass up in the comment section of this video if you knew from the time you was an adolescent that you were destined to lose. Put a champagne glass 
in the comments of this video if you knew from the time you were a teenager that far as your love life that that was the area of your life that would never look up that you knew that you were destined to lose from day one see i knew i was destined to lose and see a lot of people fail to realize that everybody ain't born to win see some people were born to win you know there are some guys you know from the time they were young you know they had a healthy dating life you know they got a lot of box young age 15 16 years old you know they constantly had steady relationships they had chicks crushing on them um a lot of these types of guys uh they had multiple multiple uh females expressing interest in them from a young age um see these are the type of dude these type of cats that i'm talking about right now are the chosen ones see when people talk about chosen ones, and you hear a lot of people talking about chosen ones, chosen ones are people that got lucky. You know, those those are the, those are the people who got lucky in life. The people that life screwed over, we the unchosen. I'm gonna start talking about unchosen ones because people always talking about chosen ones. I'm gonna do the opposite. See, I've always been the type of person to go against the grain. If there was an award for going against the grain, I'd be nominated. I'm, a, I'm talking about the unchosen ones. You know, everybody not chosen in life. There are some people who are chosen. There are some people who are not. You know, um, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, and, and I used to think that when it comes to being able to build a legacy and have a wife and kids. I used to think that uh, women were choosing the best candidates, but no, they're not choosing the best candidates. They're not choosing the best candidates. You know, they not. Women, one thing I had to really get through my head, this whole dating and mating game is rigged. This is a rigged game and it's only in favor of the best looking people. It's only in favor of dudes that women feel are attractive. Every man ain't going to have the ability to have a wife, kids, continue his legacy. Some men going to die and their legacy will be forever forgotten. You know, hopefully their family will have some good things to say about them. But see, when you're a man who's undesirable, people don't favor that. People just don't look favorably upon that. They don't respect it. They don't want no parts of it. Um... It is what it is. It is what it is, though. Some people just got the cards stacked up against them. You know? One thing, I used to want to believe that life is what you make it. No, 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 no. Life is the cards you've been dealt. See, some people got the odds in their favor, and some people got the odds against them. You know? See, everybody don't have God on their side. And I bring God into play all the time because God is the source of all of this. The higher power, whatever you want to call him, he's the source of all of this. He screwed some people. And if you're watching this presentation on this Saturday, uh, you one of the people that got screwed over. You one of the people that got jacked up by life. You know, you one of the people that life put that brutality on. You know, you know, life put that brutality on some people. You remember Mortal Kombat? I used to love playing that game growing up where they beat the person up until they blow up. That's what life did to some people. It gave some people a brutality. It beat them down. You know? Uh, people know the truth. People know that there are certain men who are not chosen. People know that. People can try to deny it. They can try to act oblivious to it all they want. People know that there are certain men who are not chosen by women. Every man is not chosen. Every man is not chosen. You know, some men are chosen. Some men are not. And uh, I notice people like to blame the individual for not being chosen. You know, if you're a man and you're not one, you're one of the unchosen, people want to blame you. You know, but um, no one cares about the unchosen people. 
What about the unchosen people? What about those people? How come, you know, people always talk about the chosen ones, you know? How come nobody never talks about the unchosen people? The people who wasn't chosen, you know? Because uh, there are some people who wasn't chosen, you know? You know, and uh, in this presentation here, we talking about unchosen people. Uh, if you one of them people who catch a lot of L's in life, you go through a lot of hell, life of hell. You one of them unchosen people. You know, I wish I was a chosen person. You know, some people. And this this goes to show you how unfair life is. Before I end this magnificent presentation on this beautiful Saturday. Some people will never know what it is to win. I feel everybody should know what it is to win at least one time, you know? But in this life, from what I'm seeing, man, it's all or nothing. It's either you got it or you don't. It's all or nothing in this world. Some people got it, some people don't. And if you are an unchosen person, You'll never know what it is to win. You'll never know what it is to run a touchdown, to strike a home run. You'll never know what it is. You know? See, a lot of people want to paint a false narrative. They want to believe that God created us all equal. We're not all equal. We're not. Some people were created. Some people were created to win. Some people were created to lose. Life is a duality, just like the yin and the yang. Life is a duality. See, everybody won, Everybody don't have the odds in their favor. Some people have the odds against them. And a lot of people want to believe that you have control over all these things in your life. But when it comes down, you know, to the mating process, you know, and, 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 and I'm sure... This is why I don't get caught up in this going overseas stuff. I'm sure there are men overseas who are unchosen. If you are an unchosen man and you're in a foreign country, you're not wanted by the opposite gender. Leave your comments in this video. All the unchosen people, because I'm talking about unchosen ones. The unchosen ones. Because it's a lot of content online about chosen ones. But I'm here to represent for the unchosen ones. Shouts out to all the unchosen ones. You know? And if you can resonate with any of the things that I've said in life. If you're one of them people who have a lot of uh, hell in your life. If you experience a lot of hell. Chances are you're an unchosen one. You are an unchosen one. If you experience a lot of hell in life, uh, people who have a lot of good experiences in life, those are the chosen people, people who didn't have a lot of struggles in life. It was easy for them to reach to the top. You know, I'm not saying that no one's life is perfect, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Some people had the odds in their favor through it all. Even though everyone has challenges, some people still had the odds in their favor to where they were still able to execute. And, and rise above those challenges. You know, I'm not here to say that the chosen ones didn't have any challenges. I'm not here to say that the chosen ones didn't have any challenges. They had challenges too, but they still had luck on their side. They still had, um, they still had that knack that helped them execute what they were trying to execute. But um, you guys have a good day. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Salute for the unchosen ones. Haha, <laughs> if you're an unchosen one, salute. I want all the unchosen ones to salute on this beautiful Saturday. And I'm pretty sure everybody watching this presentation before I end it, it's a beautiful day out here. Before I end this presentation, if you are an unchosen one, salute. Representing for all the unchosen ones 
But you guys have a good Saturday. Peace.